Now, welcome back to the C Morning Show. Since today is the 496th anniversary of Jakarta, we will cook one of the most popular dishes in Betawi culture in our segment called You Masak. Now, to help us in doing that, we are now joined with the one, the only, Chef Fanny Obisono, Hi. again here in the studio, a friend of the program. Thank you very much for being here, Chef. Nice to be here. Yeah, thank you very much again. Now, uh, she will cook uh, the special Batawi dish, uh, of course, with me as the sous chef on the special day. So we are uh, going to begin. And what are the ingredients that we need to prepare before making soto tangkar? We have a lot of ingredients here yeah, already. I can see yes, that. As it's, you know, and yeah. Asian food always with a lot of herbs and spices. It's uh, more herbs, more spices, more ingredients Indeed. than what we usually make. Because this is not the first time uh, we're together <laughs> in the segment, right? We've been on, on a couple of segments and this is by far yeah. the mm. of the most ingredients that I've ever seen. Actually, I already make it like even more simple, mm -hmm. but it's still a lot of it, right? Yeah, still a lot of it. And, and we need a lot of time actually to prepare this, uh, but I already like make it, it uh, shortened by already boiled the beef, mm -hmm. already like making the herbs and spices, yes, 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 yes. blend first. You and know what they say, the more the merrier. Yes, we have so to start we now while we are cooking. Okay. And uh, I can tell the story behind this soto tangkat. Oh okay? yes, please, please do. So this is already the herbs and spices that I already like smash it with the Indonesian ulekan. Ulekan. This is actually a smasher like this. What do you call it in English actually? Uh, English. Yeah, we don't have that. Smasher. The, the, the smasher. Actually, if you don't have this at home, you can just use a blender. Yes. And just blend it everything. So together. this consists of. Okay, I will explain to you because it's a lot of things. All right. right. But I have to like really make this one cook first. Okay. Because okay. if you don't cook this one well, you have like a different uh, flavor. Uh -huh. And it's like, uh, how you call it? It's like the raw. Uh -huh. Because you have like a lot of spices like turmeric. Okay, this is the one that I blend actually. Okay, this is the first step. Yes, the chili. Chili. Here. And then the shallots, shallots. The garlic, garlic, and then we have the candle nuts. Mm -hmm. And for the aromatic, we're gonna put the lemongrass here. Lemongrass, I love lemongrass. Yes, lemongrass, curry lime, the galangal, galangal. and uh, the bay leaf. And okay, I have this. I'm just gonna put it inside. Okay. To make it like more yummy. Put it in. Put it in. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then we also have the turmeric here. This is a lot. Turmeric is in. All right. Yes. Turmeric powder. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have the cumin, the roasted cumin All right. seeds. Okay. And we also have the fennel ground. Fennel ground. So the uh, portions is maybe like half teaspoon. Mm -hmm. So I have the recipe later on. All right. Yes, 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 yes. And this we'll is the coriander. Down. So you're gonna mix everything together mm -hmm. until it's cooked with an oil mm -hmm. because you really have to make it cook so you don't feel the rawness of the turmeric and yes. everything. And after that, you're going to put the beef inside. Right so this is, this is actually about the uh, dish that we're going to cook. We're going to cook soto tangkar. Mm -hmm. Soto tangkar is actually the part of the ribs uh, in, a, in a cow. Mm -hmm. you, you have like in the back of the yeah. ribs and you have like the meat on the side. So we're going to use that. That's why ah, it's called soto tangka. That's the origin story of soto tangka. Yes. And that's the meat that they use for yes, the soto. It's, it's actually the secondary meat because last time when uh, we are still in the colonial Dutch time, mm -hmm. that time like Indonesian is, uh, Indonesian people is like the second class. Mm -hmm. So we don't eat the tenderloin, ah, the strip so loin, what, uh, the sear loin, this right? This is what uh, yeah. back in the day. <laughs> it's so sad, it's, but it's actually sad. this is the yummiest part. Exactly. See? That's why Indonesian people love this. Intestines, uh, intestines you know? yes. Yeah. <laughs> so like here we have like the, um, what, the all the intestine mm -hmm, of the, mm -hmm. the cow and we also have the tangkar is the rib side of oh. the cow. Like it, uh, it's like um, really uh, actually the, 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 the part of the meat that uh. they use to uh, serve 
with their for for their pets. Yes. But actually, here we are enjoying. We are enjoying a lot of far. it, right? Exactly. And usually, when you eat it, like in the outside, you can choose which part of the yeah. things that you want to put inside. But here, we're gonna like cook everything together. Oh, nice. Yeah, I already have the. Uh, beef broth here. Ah, so we put it on the beef broth after we cook and boil. Everything. Oh, actually, just cook. Yes, cook I the already... meat parts and all the spices. Yep. We add the soup as well. Yeah, and after that, we have to wait until it boiled for a while. And we're gonna put a seasoning so you can help all right. me. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. You so uh, inside that here. broth, what do we have, chef? Okay, this broth this is broth. only the broth that I already cooked the beef. Mm -hmm. But this is the second broth that I boiled the beef because the first broth you have to throw it away because it's a bit. I mean, it's the intestine, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a bit smelly, and you have to put the caviar lime, the galangal, and a bit of bay leaf. So yeah. makes the smells gone. Uh -huh. After that, you have to boil it again, oh. and then you can use the broth after that. Okay, so double boil. Double boil, All but right. it's only for the intestine. Mm -hmm. For the beef, you can like put it on the second uh, right broth, so it will be good. And you can see here, it's uh, quite flavored. Yes. And actually, I'm gonna use just this is a, a beef stock. Mm -hmm. So I didn't use a lot of salt here, and to make it even like more healthy, I'm gonna use the soy milk. So soy milk. Yeah, it's oh. not the regular milk. It's okay. the soy milk here. Okay. But I'm gonna put a bit of coconut. All right. So you can put the seasoning All here. Of it? Yes. All no, of it. no, no, no. I think maybe half of it first, oh, then we can try. Do I need a spoon for that? Yes. All right. You have the spoon over there. Oh, this is the ginger. Oh, you I'm put, the, put ginger? the ginger. Yes. So they have the ginger inside. Okay, and after that, this is the soy milk. So I'm gonna uh, mix the soy milk with the, a bit of the coconut milk. Okay, I think that's about it. Yes. Just Later, if not salty enough, you can put more of it. <laughs> Why are All you right. afraid to be too salty? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's actually half of it. Okay, I follow your instructions. Okay. All right. So that's I will half just wait, mm -hmm. and then we have to prepare for the ingredients that we're gonna put on the. Bowl. All right. Okay. So if we're using soy milk, so meaning this dish is low in cholesterol. Yes. Oh. Actually, nice. if you don't have soy milk, you can also use a regular milk mm -hmm. or non-fat milk mm -hmm. because, like now, did you see? I still mix with the coconut milk yep, to have that original taste yes. of the coconut, but not that much. So I use like half of like a big jar of the soy milk mm -hmm. and only a bit of the coconut Just milk. Just a bit of coconut yes, milk. Yes, because I want the flavor to be there yeah. and like um, if you have the coconut milk raw and fresh. Actually, it's not uh, that bad. Mm -hmm. The bed of the coconut milk was after you boiled it and the oil was like coming up. That's the worst part of right. the, the things that can like block your heart and yes. like come with the cholesterol. But if it's a raw coconut, actually it's okay. Yeah, so but we can't use any other kinds of milk. Only yes. uh, non-fat milk, yes. uh, soy milk, yes. skim milk. Yes, you can use it. Skim milk and Flavored milk? No, oh, milk no will, will, milk. will be like if you use like the banana milk strawberry. and <laughs> strawberry milk in soto tangkar. No, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't know why <laughs> did I ask that question. I don't know why. Okay, so right. now it's time All right. for you to... All right, so what do we do now? <laughs> Let's do this right. because we have to prepare the ingredients. All right. So we have three bowls here so we can um, later on call your friends and like try this at the tanka. Oh yeah, I'll call up Rasha and uh, Marissa. Okay, on. so they're gonna prepare. So you have to divide this uh, potato into three dish. All right, chef. And the tomato and then the green onions. I'm gonna cut the green onions. All right. Okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Um, coming a chef. Actually, actually I uh, already prepared the bamboo skewer. If mm -hmm. we still have time, actually we can grill the beef, like Ooh. become the satay. Uh -huh. So soto tangkar actually good with the satay also. So oh. if you have like, so soto tangkar is uh, good to enjoy with uh, satay. With, so. Yeah, and the rice. But I don't have the rice here. But we already have the potato. So actually, <laughs> it's, a, it's the same method for the satay. But you only can uh, like uh, put the like a bit of the beef here uh -huh. and then you grill it with the sauce that you already planned okay. with a bit of soy sauce that's it but for today i think we just have this one all right let's go yeah, because so we have no carbs uh aside of potatoes only potatoes yes we are only using potatoes for today and we also have the tomato you can put it the tomato oh perfect okay and then the tomato please oh okay 
All right, chef. <laughs> So I have a very good sous chef here. Yeah, at least I'm trying to be one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna try the soto first. If it's already good with the taste, if not, we have to put a bit salt and the seasoning again. I think it's enough salt. Is it enough? I think it's enough salt. Let I me put try in first. a bunch of salt there. So you should try first. I just can't wait to munch on it later on. <laughs> you know? This is a very good, it smells so good. It does. Yeah, but we okay. have to wait a bit until it boils. So, potatoes in, tomatoes in. Okay. What's next, chef? And then please put the green onions right. and then also the fried shallots. Okay, let me try first a bit. Do you like spicy? I like spicy. But not that much. But not that much. Because in the morning, you know, when you eat spicy yes. food, it's it's just 7.40 a.m. right now. <laughs> okay, this is the chili. All if right. you want to be more spicy. All right. Okay. What do you think? Mm, you're right. What do you think, Jim? Mm, it's so good. It's so good? I mean, I don't really like to salty, huh? but please try. All right, I will do. What do you think? All right. For me, it's already good. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> But I don't know. Sometimes everyone have a different taste of yeah. saltiness. Okay. But for me, this is already good. But if you want more, I can put a bit of this seasoning. Oh, this is perfect. This is just perfect. I am telling you. You don't need more a bit? No. You want to add more a bit? <laughs> for me, it's okay. Okay. But I don't know if someone like to salt, mm -hmm. like a bit more. We can, maybe taste. we can add a, a pinch. bit. Yeah. Just a pinch. A pinch. Yeah. Okay, like this. Enough? This is perfect. Okay, because you have the potato and the tomato yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, okay. this is A bit, yeah, I think. Is it okay? It's already yeah, yeah, yeah. It go ahead, a bit go ahead, salty. Yeah. You know no. this, okay. I think that's one already. Okay, so I think we're done. We just have to wait a bit until it's boiling, but actually it's already done because we already boiled the beef first, so mm -hmm. it's a bit fast. So this is what you should do if you make the soto tangkar. Okay. Actually, you can like boil it first, mm -hmm. and then the day after, or like, like two days, even you can put it in a dry fridge. You can make this soto tangkar very easy. Maybe mm -hmm. only like 15 minutes, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And so you want to call your friends? Yeah, later try? on the show, we'll have uh, the ingredients and the how-to steps. In the meantime, let's call out <laughs> my colleagues. Yes, we have Marissa oh, and Nasha. Yeah. Hello. How come it's so fun for you? Vania. Oh my God, thank you so much. Come join me and Chef Vania. Ooh, wow. For coming. over a decade. Yeah, you know, my first cooking show is with her. Oh so it's my like God. A legend, she's like a legend to me. It comes full circle. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So All lovely right. to see you. So, oh. you're just in time. Sorry, am, yeah. I, I'm, am I in the way? No, you are not. <laughs> okay. actually. You're just in I'm time. Like closer <laughs> to the food. Yeah, I just can't wait to munch on it later on. I know. You're just in yeah. time because we're about uh, to, to be serve done it. Yeah, with our cooking. Mm -hmm. oh my and goodness. we're about to serve it. So this we're just in time. Soto Ooh. tangkar, right? Soto tangkar. Right? Chef, so, are we yeah. ready to serve it? Yes, right please. So we have a lot of things inside. And yeah. actually, you can choose which part that you want. Because okay. we have the meat, we have the intestine. This is called soto tangkar. Usually, mm. you can choose. I, I mean, if you like buying outside, you can, okay, pa, I just want the meat. I just yeah. want the, the, the support, yeah, yeah. the intestine. Yeah. But now you can choose by yourself. I already so. put everything inside. I want everything. It's and already like slow cooked. For those <laughs> of you watching at home as well, we'll have the ingredients uh, up here in the screen yeah. with us and how to make it as well. Yay! Ooh. Boom! Boom! There you go. Here oh it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so it's like a like a buffet, so you okay, can choose by what you mm -hmm. want. I want okay. the ladle. Do we have a ladle or Yeah, a I don't know. They don't have the ladle, so ah, just the spoon here for you. There is no ladle. And this is for you. Ah, thank you. I think this Chef. one is better. I don't think I can this remember is, is the big? last time I had soto tangkar. Oh, I think this is the same. Yeah, just this is the same. Because this is the Do you have one. a lot of memory with soto tangkar, Marissa? Oh my gosh. I, this is the thing. I don't remember the last time I ate it. So this is very, very exciting. And... This is very Asian, by the way. Why? Yes. Because we are eating what we call in Indonesia, jeroan, which yes. is... Yes, in the, the intestine, the, right? The innards. The innards. Innards. And by the way, this is the lemon that I grow by myself. Oh, seriously? Wow. Wow. So Looks this is so a fresh. Yes, yes, yes. You're so amazing, you can, like, squeeze Bania. this one. 
And don't forget to eat with this emping. Uh, emping, oh it's a God. bean. Oh. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to explain the emping, but yeah. it's from bean, so I used to say just a bean crackers. Hey. <laughs> yeah. okay. But you have to be with this one and the fried shallots. Please don't forget, and with the fried chili. Shallots. Oof. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, you have your yes. spoon. Okay, I'm going to put the fried please. Shallot. Fried shallots. And with this one, sometimes Indonesia like to like smash it and then eat yeah. it like. Like really like smashy or just like... I'm going to have one, Melinjo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a big fan because um, it's is a it? little bit bitter, but I'm going to have but it. But no, this one is not bitter because I like fried it by myself. So if it's Ooh. sweet, but not what bitter it because it's from, it's really from like the village that sent me this. Wow. Does, it, does it taste like sweet victory? Can you please try yeah. the emping? Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> I already tried the emping. It's lovely. Gosh, yeah. Go ahead. Shall, shall I please try with the fried shallot? Black yes. shallots, don't shall forget. Do yes. Don't forget with the lemon, yes. Just squeeze it. Because it's amazing. Something, yeah, I grow it You've by myself. It. It's like a lemon, but it's a green one. Oh, I love so sambal. I this. <laughs> Who yeah, doesn't love sambal in the morning? Why not? So to balance it out, Why we not? used to give it the lime. Okay. Yeah. I think we and should. You, yeah, this is very low cholesterol because I don't use the coconut, coconut hey. milk that much. Hey. Only a bit and the Rich others milk. is soy milk. Not with milk, soy milk. Yeah, it's with the soy. So I yeah. think we can do a proper taste test together. Yeah, people, yeah. Used, to, you, people used to make with this uh, regular milk, but actually with the soy milk, it tastes so good because oh. the soy milk have like the what you call the special taste, like yeah. when we eat tempeh and yeah. tofu, yeah. Yeah. and it will like mix perfectly with, with. Yes, I love the tempeh. And it's okay. actually it's right. lighter as well. Yes, it's yeah. lighter. It's lighter. Okay, I think we are ready. Are we ready to do yes. a proper taste test? Yes, I have. Please, but why don't you eat it with the emping? Of course, I like no matter. I like I when you like smash the emping. Oh, over there. I'll do that. Look, this yeah. is a beautiful bowl. I don't know. Yes, if like you can that. Yes. Capture the the pink. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. No. Maybe it can capture your okay. expression of face. All right, let's do this. Together, guys. Ready? Okay, on the two. Yeah. Come on. Be careful, it's hot. Mm. See, oh you don't have to explain, just see from the face oh. and the expression. That's right. <laughs> you do need umping. <laughs> see, I <laughs> right? Mm. It's good this with is, the umping. This is, so this is uh, with beef in innards or with uh, kambing? Uh, no, with the beef inner. With beef inner. Mm. Yeah, but I already mm. like boil it in a slow cooker for like mm. eight hours. Yeah, mm. or more. So it's a very tender and it's like very soft and the beef uh, broth is already like cooked twice, so mm -hmm. I throw away the first one because it's not good and it smells bad. So I already like cook it twice. Oh my Bania. god, like Bania. Moist and delicate. Russia, how do you like, like your soto tanker? Can wow. you see my face? Yes, yes, I can see. To but be honest, this is like my me, like, first time to eating it. <laughs> and become but a it is so good. It's, it's so like happy. a combination <laughs> between soto bandung and gulai. If mm -hmm. I can explain. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But it's better. Yeah. This is Maybe because delicious. it's your cooking. This no. is delicious. This because is so delicious. Yeah. And we have uh, the ingredients and how to make it uh, earlier on the show. Mm. And you can try it for yourself mm. to make it at home. This You're, takes 20 minutes to, mm. uh, to it's make. It's easy, right? Yeah. yeah, the longest part is to for you to boil the beef because mm -hmm. the local yeah. beef is a bit hard. So you have to cook it like in a, even a pressure cooker or just yeah. a slow cooker. It's mm. way better. Mm. Your husband and your children must be so happy. Yeah. <laughs> so you know I'm a bit fat compared to you saw me like 10 years ago because of this kind of food. <laughs> well, no, you're not. I, you yeah. still look fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bania. But you know, food makes us happy. Yeah. yeah. You know, very yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Chef, thank yeah, you very much for happy. just being here uh, this morning. Thank you so much uh, for trying. Mm -hmm. of Jakarta. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You can make soto tangkar yourself at home. And that mm -hmm. was a special segment. You masak on Jakarta's anniversary, my apologies. And after the break, Marissa and Rasha will what? turn to talk. <laughs> this is a segment that you oh. will love. Uh, it's our book talk. Yeah. Uh, I haven't finished my soup. You can yeah, finish, can finish your soup while the doing the book talk. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Love time, we have time. Uh, they will talk with Intana Para Madita about mm. her new book, Malam Seribu Jahanam. So stay tuned only on the sea. Morning show. In the meantime, mm -hmm. Soto Tangkar. Insane.